It's no secret that sitting for long periods of time at a desk can be one of the most challenging things to your health, fitness, and maybe even sanity. And in the last video, I talked about how getting in some specific little actions or movements or exercise snacks throughout the day can go a long way at preventing a lot of the detrimental effects of having a sedentary desk job. But after I posted the video, I thought, Maybe I should actually go over some of the exercises I recommend you do that. So without further ado, here are my top exercises for those who fly a desk for a living. First exercise, we're gonna start with the hands and the wrists. A carpal tunnel, stiff and weak wrists are a plague upon our society. Here all the time, people are like, I can't put my hands flat on the floor. And that doesn't mean that's a bad position. It means that we need to address this issue and fast. Now, the way I prefer to address this is a very simple exercise where you have your hands out either out in front of you or down by your side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a tight fist, clench your fist as tight as you can and roll your wrist down. This will stretch the top of your hand and your forearm and flex the bottom. Then you open your hands as much as you can and you bend your hand and fingers back or upwards if it's down by your side. This will do the opposite where you're working the top of your hand and forearm and stretching the bottom. Doing this periodically throughout the day will do wonders for your hand, wrist, and forearm health. Moving up to the shoulders. Now, a lot of the issues that we have with sore necks, sore, sore backs, a lot of this stuff is coming from how we're sitting is kind of kyphotic, hunched over. We've got our scapula retract or protracted rather, slip of the tongue there. So what I recommend doing on a regular basis is rolling the shoulders in big motions. Now this isn't just some light roll the shoulders like, okay, yeah, whatever, circle the arms, whatever kind of deal. Treat this as a legitimate strength and mobility exercise. Get the biggest range of motion that you can in your shoulder blades. Get the big circles going on. As you do this, your shoulders come back, squeeze your traps back, get your elbows back and send that tension down your whole length of your spine, extend your spine. And then as you roll up and forward, stretch out the back of your upper back or your upper back and between your shoulder blades, big circles. You can also do this with your arm circles as well. Big, huge circles with your arms. Stretch your fingertips as long as you possibly can. Make the biggest radius and get your shoulder blades moving in that as well. The next exercise is the simple standing twist. Place one hand behind your back, one hand on the shoulder, and then you twist your whole body around in the direction of the hand that's on the shoulder, kind of like you're pointing around. Turn your head as well, so you're stretching out your neck a little bit, and hold. Make sure that you're breathing evenly and consistently with all of these exercises. Hold for about five to 10 seconds, and then of course repeat on the other side. And then finally, for the lower body, I recommend standing on one leg and picking up the other leg. When you stand on one leg, that's engaging the hips and your glutes and your hamstrings of your supporting leg. And then what you're doing is you're engaging in triple flexion of the leg that you're picking up. This includes pulling your uh, top of your foot towards your shin, dorsiflexion. You're flexing your hamstring, so you're flexing your knee as much as possible, and you're flexing your hip, trying to drive your knee as much as you can. Then just to place it on the ground and do the same. You can also do some circles with the knee if you prefer that as well. But just standing on one leg and picking up the other leg as much as possible will help to stretch what gets tight from sitting and strengthen what is often weak from sitting. So those are the simple exercises I recommend doing every single day if you are in a sedentary style desk job. I wrote kind of a little routine you can do down below, but again, don't overthink it from a routine standpoint. Just kind of every time you stand up or whenever you think about it, just go through a few arm circles, stand on one leg back and forth. It's meant to be kind of just a, a playful type of activity. It's not a workout. It's not something you should be struggling with. It's something that should be relieving stress and feeling very, th very therapeutic. Do it for a few weeks and I promise you're gonna feel a lot better at the end of the workday. What exercises do you think should be included on this list? What helps you with your desk job? We'd love to hear from you down below. Check out these videos for more as well. Be fit, live free.